sign up for free Stratfor Intelligence. Simply enter your email address to receive two free reports each week. Here at Stratfor, we're closely watching an incident that happened on February 15th in which two special agents of the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Agency, or ICE, were shot in an incident in San Luis Potosi, Mexico. The incident occurred uh, yesterday afternoon as the two agents were traveling in a late model suburban north of Mexico City in the state of San Luis Potosi. The reports that we've received so far indicate that the two agents were stopped at what they thought was a military checkpoint along the road. And as they pulled their armored vehicle over to the side of the road and rolled down their window, one of the gunmen who was manning the checkpoint opened fire on them, killing the driver and, and wounding the second agent. Many people in the press are going to make parallels between this case and the case of Kiki Camarena, a DEA agent who was killed back in 1985. However, the circumstances surrounding these two incidents are quite different. The Camarena case was very intentional, and the bosses of the Guadalajara cartel had Camarena specifically targeted and kidnapped. Once he was kidnapped, then they, they tortured him. Uh, revived him using a medical doctor and, and tortured him some more in order to try to get information pertaining to the source network he was running in Mexico. Uh, the Cam Camarena case was very brutal, very intentional, and of course raised a lot of ire on the American side of the border. The DEA launched a, a huge operation uh, called Operation Leyenda or, or Legend to go after the, the jefes of the Guadalajara cartel. Now, in this current case, it appears that, that what we had were two ICE agents who were traveling in a vehicle that uh, was very attractive for the cartels. Uh, we know really that the, that the vehicles the cartels uh, covet the most for their operations are the large crew cab pickup trucks. Indeed, we saw some missionaries attacked a couple weeks ago as uh, they were traveling on the highway and they tried to escape a carjacking attempt by the cartels who, who wanted that vehicle. As we look at the circumstances surrounding this case, it really appears that it, it was a case of being in the wrong place at the wrong time for the agents, and that it was uh, really a case of a, a cartel, low-level cartel gunman responding uh, to encountering two U.S. law enforcement agents inside that vehicle when they stopped at, at the checkpoint. Therefore, we don't think that it was an intentional case planned by high-level cartel planners. Certainly, there's always more that the U.S. government can do in Mexico, but they're restrained uh, by, by this, the sovereignty of Mexico and really the sensibilities of the Mexican people to American incursion. They, they really see Americans uh, as a threat. So the, the bottom line is, uh, while the U.S. Uh, will respond to this case, we really don't think that we will see the urgency and severity of the U.S. response that we did in the Camarena case.